Did you invite Kristen? Mm -mm. Okay. You might want to remind them that you're doing more. Remind them what? Okay, yeah. Did you invite Kristen? Uh -uh. Good morning, so we're, we're live now. Okay, good. Well, there's Bonnie, she got here. Remind them what? Okay, yeah. Did you morning, so we're, we're live now. Okay, good. So congratulations, Dolores. Sure, then. Thank you. I'm excited. I'm not sure what's going on. There's some sort of echo. Dolores, do you want to talk about the, the tree order for the? Um... Yeah. Um, well, uh, we, we ordered 12 trees from PHS, and they were originally planned for last spring, uh, including Arbor Day. And I actually um, so have to. Echo. I'm going to call PHS to get uh, what are the exact trees because I have notes on what the order was, but I don't know exactly what John got. So, but I have well, a good John, idea. Talk about the, the tree order for the. Uh, there uh, we go. Uh, I mean, keep talking. Well, uh, we, we ordered 12 trees from PHS. Should I keep talking or wait for that to finish? Is it okay now? Can you hear me? Okay, so I keep talking. All right. 
So um, we had thought of at that at last spring, we would at least put two trees in the tree pits um, along Long Lane between Fairview and Chestnut Street. So, um, and uh, I think what be, we ordered some, uh, it's called autumn flowering cherry trees. They, they flower in the spring and then they have a lighter flowering in the autumn. So they would be pretty there. Um, then the other idea was the uh, last segment of the median of Westchester Pike, right before you are at that turnaround. It's past the police building and between the septa turnaround to put some trees in there. And that would be a nice place because it's so barren there. Um, so I have to go look at it carefully, but we might, it could be eight or more trees there, anywhere from between six and 10. Um, and those spots, um, we have to get eight one one call, that is the safe dig call made for them. And I'm particularly worried about that section of the median since it's in front of the septa turnaround, I don't know what's under there. You know, it's possible we couldn't plant there, but so that has to get checked out. Um, and otherwise than that, what's immediately available is there are other spots on the Westchester Pike median from some old trees that have come down in some areas that never got planted. So those are places that would be easy to do um, this fall. Now, um, as in terms of getting the 811 call in, uh, Upper Darby has pays for that and they have a code number. And I think what I learned from John McMullen is that Joe Martin, the electrician, makes that call. Is, is he still the electrician? I don't know, are you there? Is Joe Martin, and, or is it possible I can make that call or should I just uh, submit the locations to Joe Martin? Do you know? I, if I made the call, I would just need, uh, I would need the authority to do it because uh, there's some kind of code number Upper Darby Township has that they pay for annually to get those calls made. So we have to check with him. All right. Um, now what I would do is I would uh, take, what Clyde used to do sometimes is take some stakes and mark the exact spots right before they come out. Give them the basic location and they could come out and approve them so that we um, don't. So I would, I would probably wanna go and look at those areas and, and uh, get the spots located soon. Then also for the whole tree order, we have to line up Bill Grant. He's, he's the person that works with the uh, parks and rec workers, they pick up the trees and they plant the trees. Um, the dates for picking them up, I think it's uh, November 19th or 20th. And they usually go first thing in the morning, uh, either Thursday morning or Friday morning, pick them up and then they kind of plant them right away uh, over either all that day or over the two days. And there's a special piece of equipment that can like skewer a big hole in the median. So they would have to it, um, I've seen them use it. It's like a, a type of drill. And the median, because it has a lot of stones underneath the top layer, because it used to be a, a you know, it used to have a rail line there, uh, definitely needs that machinery. So we have to, I mean, I can call Bill Grant, Grant up and talk about it, but I assume, so those are all things we have to do. And we could kind of line it up now. And then maybe when we have a meeting on October, just sort of make sure that that's all ready to go, okay? So did you hear me on all that? I can't tell if you're hearing, oh, nothing's coming through? Uh-oh. Let me do the chat, I'm gonna ask you. All ready to go. Oh, the, okay. Okay, then. Did you hear me on all that? I can't tell if you're hearing. Oh, nothing's coming through. Uh oh. Let me 
Okay. So what do you think of that whole plan? So, uh, We're going to pick up 12 trees. Right. We ordered 12 trees originally for last spring. And then everything got, we'll just not worry about the echo. Everything got shut down because of COVID. So that order got carried over and, and we didn't have any meetings since then. So we have these 12 trees for the fall. And then after that, you know, over the winter, we can work on plans for the spring and next year. So um, I would just need the ability to uh, contact um, Joe Martin, the electrician, to ask him about getting the uh, 811 line called. Um, did you didn't you didn't hear the plan yet? No. Okay. Can you hear me now? Okay. And uh, long way in between. Between. Um, let me see, Fairfax and Chestnut. I'm typing. Um, All right, there. I, I texted the basic plan. Did you get my, uh, are you getting my chat? All right. I, So 10 trees are going to go on? Well, potentially. Um, we have to, I have to go look at the spot more care. We originally were going to put a couple trees for Arbor Day at the high school, but then that got um, canceled and it's not so. Uh, are you getting my chat? All right. I'm... All right. So you're, you're hearing me, but it's delayed, right? Um, so 10 trees are. All right, so I need that. Too bad. Um, oh, Bonnie disappeared. Uh, okay, and then um, I have, I, I wrote up, so that would be, and then let me see, then.
can you hear me? Yes. Oh, good. Then I don't have to type anymore. So the two things are uh, checking out the site, marking the spots where we want the trees, and getting 811 called, and then lining up the Bill Grant to uh, pick them up and, and plant them. And they have, like I said, with the median, because there's stones underneath, because it was a rail line, you have to um, use that. They have this big machine that drills a hole. Oh, good. Then I don't have to type anymore. Oh. So the two things are uh, checking out Delay. the site, marking the spots where we want the trees, and getting 811 called, and then lining up the Bill Grant to uh, pick them up and, and plant them. And they have, like I said, with the median, because there's stones underneath, because it was a rail line, you have to um, use that. Okay, so um, after that, we have um, thinking about future meetings and projects, right? talked about addressing you know all the little parks the various parks in Upper Darby and I, I Bonnie has a list which I have and uh, what my thought was we visit each park or I visit each park take pictures uh, Bonnie said some of them already have plans and uh, see what each park has had or hasn't had done and make an inventory of what we want to do I, I see a list of the parks with pictures and then like the action. Bonnie has a list which I have. And uh, what my thought was, we visit each park or I visit each park, take pictures. Uh, Bonnie said some of them already have plans and uh, see what each park has had or hasn't had done. Oh, and uh, make an inventory of what we want to do. I, I see a list of the parks with pictures and then like the actual which I have. And uh, what my thought was Is that okay? Pictures. Uh, I said some of them already have plants and Mark has had or has done. So uh making it what I want to do. I have a list of the parts with pictures. And then, like, the actual. Oh, there must be some. Um, okay, what do you think of that? I think it's a good idea. 
Um, the Recreation Committee is also doing an inventory of all the, the township um, park areas and you know, playgrounds and, and all that too. So we could use their list. Well, I think I would just look at it from the perspective of trees. Okay. Like where, how many and where we would put a tree. Okay, what do you think of that? And even if they have uh, future projects done them in them to get the trees growing. Also doing an inventory of all the, good. the township um, okay. park areas and playgrounds and, and all that too. So we could use their list. Well, I think I would just look at it from the perspective of trees. Okay. Like where, how many, and where we would put a tree. Okay, what do you think of that? Even if they have uh, future projects done them uh, to get the trees growing. Also doing an inventory of all the good, the township, um, park areas, and playgrounds, and, and all that too. So, well, I think I would just look at it from the perspective of trees. Okay, like where, how many, and where we would put a tree. Even if they have. All right. Um, so there, you, you said you wanted to work on the parks, remember? So that's why I thought. And that's something we can, uh, we just, I, if there's parks you don't want to do anything to for now, just begin to, to take a look at all of that. Or do you, are you looking for other ways of addressing the parks? Well, I think there's like what you're doing, you're, it sounds like you're seeing what's planted in the different right. parks and maybe right. where there's space for more plantings. Right. Um, the recreation committee is kind of doing an inventory of equipment, benches, lighting, right. trash cans, all, all, all that sort of stuff. So probably what, what you find out and what they find out just to be put together, so. That's good. And then you said you wanted to plant like Gillespie Park where we cleaned out. So that would be on that list. Now I, looking at the list of parks that Bonnie had, I did recognize some that in the last years, I know that I've gone with Clyde and some trees have been planted. So we'll just kind of see what shape each place is in. Some places might not need any, some might need a lot of things. Then the other ideas were uh, getting trees planted along 69th Street. You know, that's a big project or beginning to address that. Uh, and that is going to need the um, cooperation, I guess, of the property owners, as you said. And it may not all be done in one year, but maybe we could start uh, getting in touch with them. Because a lot of places do plant their business districts. So it, it gets done somehow and we should be able to do that. Um, then there was, you know, working on neighborhoods, areas with uh, that have heat, heat zones in particular. And there's also neighborhoods that have a lot of tree lawns that are unplanted. Um, something I've done here is I got trees from Clyde once like 10 years ago and I planted them in front of a blank storage wall that had been graffitied and that that made it like a little park area instead of an ugly um just blank wall so that's those are the kinds of things i'd like to look for where there's areas where you could do some plantings in front of what's just a empty blank wall and it, it kind of makes it nice and it keeps people from da damaging it so where was that was that is that private land no it's um Kind of, yeah. It's the storage building at, along Lansdowne Avenue. The back of it faces Delaware Avenue, which is at the end of my block. And uh, it's uh, so it turns out Pico owns that strip of land under the along Delaware Avenue, but be, part of it's also by the storage building. So I, um, it took me a while to get in touch with Pico to find out whose property it was. And then I went to the storage building people and asked their permission. And then uh, they said, as long as it wasn't large trees. So I got some trees from Clyde and put them in. And, and now they're, you know, it's nice. It actually can look park-like rather than what was really ugly. So where you can see that in their space, it makes a big difference. So that's something just to look out for. Um, Nate Goodson, uh, 
like last year from the Bywood community, they wanted to do trees in their area. So uh, we need to try to keep in touch with him. And if his community group will do the legwork of going door to door and helping at least with that, uh, finding out which neighbors would like a tree, maybe we could work on that part of the neighborhood. You had suggested at a meeting, Wellington Island. Do you remember that? So I, I took a look at that. Uh, yeah, it's a little median. Small trees could go there because they have power lines, but that would be something to look at and order trees specifically for that spot. And then Clyde had an idea about a long lane parking area. Um, we could look into that. So those are, those are just lists of things that I have. Also, Sean McIntosh, when it goes back to parks, he wanted to put some trees um, along um, some part of Naylor's Run Trail. He had an idea. So I told him to send me the spot he was thinking about. So uh, those, are, those are like bigger ideas I had that um, we could work on over the winter. And yeah, I, think, I think it would be good to get a clear sense of what the the shade shade tree commission does right there was a document about that you got it from me about five years ago and you have to find it again it outlines the composition and authority of the shade tree commission um so well our our ordinances are getting codified yeah it's part of that it that ordinance was introduced last night. So it, it should be shortly when we can get a good idea of, um, of sort of, you know, what the, the duties and responsibilities of the Shade Tree Commission are. I kind of look at the Shade Tree Commission and I could be wrong, but as being um, sort of in charge of, or uh, overseeing township property and also well, creating, you know, creating uh, legislation possibly, you know, with, with council um, to, I don't know, define where trees should be planted, how they should be taken care right. of, whether or not, um, you know, stump removal on front yeah, lawns, things that like that. Great. Yeah. Well, um, that document that I saw some years ago, uh, did define said that the shade tree commission was in charge of planning residential streets that's why we need to find that document and, mm -hmm. and see what you want to do with it um i mean the tree tenders are trying to work on that but if we could work on you know they they could probably use help or we could use their help um it's a, that's a hard one, the residential streets, because it's so much, it's hard to get people to put in a tree, but it's, it's kind of needed. I'm sorry, I'm looking in my, uh, my laptop for, for that ordinance. I used to have it, I thought. Right. Now, Clyde only worked on, he worked on parks, medians, and schools. He didn't uh, one, but but there were times where uh, the township offered trees to the resident, and I got some from my street. It was like some years ago, like eight 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 or nine years ago. Uh, and then you know the old mayor said, if you want a tree, you just have to ask. Although that wasn't really, it's, it was fuzzy. The whole area of the residence is, is fuzzy. Um, and then the tree nursery is that. Do you well, see this being like under the auspices of the tree tenders? Well, that's, yeah, I think it's their idea. Um, and that's something to talk about, like how to, I mean, it's an idea and it's, that's something to figure out who's in charge of it, but, um, or who helps with it. The thing about that is like um, potentially more in terms of the township. Say, um, say we did work on planning uh, up 69th Street. Some of the trees that we might want to get might be more a little more uh, expensive. If you could get them younger and raise them for a little bit, 
in a uh, nursery, it would help with cutting down the expenses, I think. But that might get too complicated. I think it, it would be good. We, we have to do some research, find these ordin find the ordinance mm -hmm. and any other ones that are related to, um, to the Shade Tree Commission and also figure out who exactly is on the commission right. when their terms are. Well, I don't think this has ever been defined, but uh, we have to contact everybody that was on it, see if they still want to be on it mm -hmm. and try to maybe invite some new people. It would be nice, I think, if we could get people from different parts of Upper Darby on the uh, Shade Tree Commission, because you tend to know your the area you live in better. So if we could get some representation from different sections, we could get more help. See, in terms of like the Shade Tree Commission just taking care of, say, township property, what township property needs taking care of? I like, think there's a lot of parks. Is that how you parks, do can parks? You um trees right yeah we could use a lot more trees and and i mean second more playground the i don't know what you call it where sellers library is yeah i put yeah i i suggested sellers library before oh come in a lot of a lot of trees were cut down on the on the slope from the library into the playground there's a lot of trees missing there mm -hmm. i mean not missing they've, they've been they've been removed and cut down so I guess, um, and he did schools, Clyde, but besides those things, I, it's like one of my desires to get more of the, the whole trees around every the residential area, which we're losing them. And it seems to me that whole 69th street shopping area could use more, it's very uh, unshady there, right? So if the shade tree commission could work with them, businesses to do that, what am I trying to, trying to, Okay, I'm trying to post something. All right. Okay, there we go. Let me. Um, I'm return. Okay, I signed up for a um, advanced tree tender course, and you, I'm trying to put their agenda there. I didn't get all of it. Um, it got up to October 21st. It's a it's a six week program meeting like Wednesday nights for two hours so six and uh it's going to cover it's not I'm trying to copy and paste all the agenda in October oh well it's only doing the first half maybe there's a uh, limit on what you're allowed to copy but uh those are so the October 7th one will be selecting trees for a changing climate and that's important because as we pick trees what's going to be able to make it for a long time. Then advanced pruning. I've done that before, but I'll do that again. Uh, the barriers of planting trees, that would be fundraising and how to build. And then there were more topics. I don't seem, it seems not. Uh, November 4th is uh, tree planting for improved stormwater sequestering and streamside planting. Now that'll be good for helping us plan out some of these park areas. The information from that. And also, I hope whether she'll join the committee or not, that Faith Zerby tends, seems to have a lot of interest in that area, that she would at least uh, join us and give us some, you know, her input. And then um, the November 11th meeting is about uh, how equity increasing stakeholder diversity, getting projects on the political agenda, ordinances, state tree commissions, kind of what we're talking about now. Oh, invasive disease. The other thing is planting trees. Uh, now that we have the lantern fly, uh, a, a huge issue. Here it is. It, it did come in. That uh, certain trees might be less attractive than they had been because of the lantern fly. For instance, I have a red maple in my yard, and that that's a nice tree, but it seems to be a host tree that the bugs just are really drawn to. Um,
Right, and, and Bonnie's texting me, so I guess she got, is she still on the meeting? Did she get dropped? She, she took herself off. Okay, she sent me a text and it was, it was some input. She said, the township can do things like break up cement for residential planning and the tree tenders could do the planting. So that we could do a cooperative thing on, on residential work, potentially. Is there any way you can do maybe contact the Haverford group and see how they go about right. doing that? And I was, that was a thought I, that's a good idea. And that's actually a thought that crossed my mind recently is contact the Haverford Shade Tree Commission. Cause it seems like Haverford, Haver, Havertown anyway, does a lot of planting. Um, yeah, instead of, reinventing the wheel if we could right contact, ways, but i'm asking you to to do the research on it so. i will oh, that's a good thing that to do so find out who to contact and you know get there see how they do it that's a good idea mm -hmm. that, that starts over things um other ideas ahead oh in terms of finding money now maybe you already get money from this do you get money grants from the Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources? That's DCNR. So uh, over the years, we have applied for, the townships applied for different grants from them. Yes, like part, I think. Right, they do parks, recreation and conservation. Mm -hmm. And I was looking, reading about it last night. So can you keep going back and asking for, because the more money you can get from grants, then whatever money Upper Darby has for trees can go farther for for more trees. So for all, it seems like uh, the idea of inventorying the parks and planting more trees where needed would be something that they would work. They also do riparian buffers. So if we're parking along, planting along the streams, like in Gillespie Park, maybe that could provide some funding for it. And then we could save our funding for more things. And then I also know that PICO has had neighborhood improvement grants. And I, I think Upper Darby's gotten some in the past. Um, they've gotten some of the green, the green region grants. Right. PICO. So as we put together ideas, maybe we could use them and apply for that. So there are two things that, that look out there. There used to be tree vitalized grants. And I tried to look into that because we get, but what that means to Upper Darby is the trees we get through this PHS program are the tree vitalized grant for us. However, they have, they had separate grants for riparian buffers and other things. So I looked up that last night and they're no longer, off, they're no longer offering them through tree vitalized, but it's going through this Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. So municipalities can look into that. So I think let's, um, it's just me and you, so we should figure, <laughs> um, we should um, go over like, when, when is the next meeting? Well, I don't know. I mean, did, did um, because I, I wasn't in charge before. So, and we have, we had a meeting in March. I assume John, did John McMullen post them in the newspaper? It might not be, I don't know if there is one, but we should have one in October, I think, if there isn't one. All I know is we had this meeting. I don't know what other meetings already were set up. Let me, I'm gonna step away, I'll be right back. Okay. I apologize for that. So that's all right. I'm not I'm not as prepared for this meeting as I that's really should right. be. Well, you had a lot going on in the <laughs> yeah, meetings last night. Um, I don't want to have 
shade tree meetings in awkward times like this, you know, early in the morning. Yeah, or so that's after. something we should work on for next year. And I think there's only, isn't there only four meetings a year? It, there has, yeah. I think the shade tree ordinance did define there had to be so many public meetings, three or four. I can't remember. I think it was four. And so all they ever did was establish those four meetings. Okay. But you can establish other ones. My thought would be for meetings, if we meet monthly, would be the third week of the month because, um, or the second, no, the second week of the month. I don't want it like meeting on the same, the same week you have township council meetings. Okay, Plus, so that would be the second or the fourth. I think the second's better because when you get to the third, later in the month, there's always holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, they all land in that week. So mm -hmm. you end up not really wanting to have a meeting then. Um, so I just thought, and if we want to keep Thursdays, it'd be like the second Thursday of the month. Because the third Thursday of the month is zoning hearing meetings. Right. And they, sometimes it's, a, you know, something comes up in your neighborhood you want to go to. So yes. Oh, Bonnie, Bonnie just texted me. She left because it, she said she was, she was causing the echo. Oh, she was using my Zoom link. She never got a Zoom link. She 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 sent in an um, she sent in a request yesterday, uh, but then it got late in the day, and she never got her own Zoom link. That's why she left the meeting because it, she was. I I sent her my Zoom link just so she could get on, and that was creating an echo. I don't think that's why the echo was happening. Oh uh, well, she she said that. She just texted me that. Who knows? The um. So on my end, I need to locate the ordinances, find out who officially is on the Shade Tree Commission. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'll do that. You, it sounds like you're gonna plot out where the- 12 trees go. 12, well, 10, two, two's going on long lane. Yeah, well, that's part of the 12. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I still think, even though it's already a, a whole, we should just contact safe dig and have them okay it just to be on the safe side uh plot out 12 trees uh i want to do that about, about joe martin uh, about like the how the public works right work how yeah how safety. does this work and if if we if if i could get the authority to call the safe dig number myself it would just make it easier but if i have to i could submit the information to him well, they're they're the ones that are going to have to go out and mark the area. Anyway. Okay, so to Joe Martin. All right. Okay, I'll I'll contact Joe Martin. Um, locate any and all ordinances um, about the Shade Tree Commission, and also um, find in, any documentation about um, who's who's been appointed. All right. How long the terms are? We never said how long your term was last night. So. Oh, that's all right. Uh, we can talk about that, um, or you can figure that out. Um, I know you said give it a, a, for a year, so we'll see how it goes for a year. Okay. Um, so if I say plot out these trees next week, uh, then can I call Joe Martin, or will he call me? How do I get? Is he on the website? Um, Public Works. Yep. Yeah. The contact information is on the website. All right. Because I want to, I want to see, I want to do that sooner than later. Even though it's not till November, we get the trees. Because on the chance that that last section, the median, has stuff underground and we can't plant there, we have to like think about the other twelve those te those trees. Now, the rest of the Westchester Pike median still has lots of areas where we could put them if we're not thinking out other places yet. So I'm not worried about being able to plant them ultimately. Um, Right, and um, besides the big meetings, Bonnie just texted me and I, I thought about that. We can also have subgroup meetings besides yes. the four public meetings. Mm -hmm. um, so four of them have to be public, but I think we should meet as a, just a, a, a committee in, in non-public meetings to work out details of things. Um, oh, that sounds great. So maybe next month, October, the second week of October, we can, or you're going to check on when they're already scheduled. But if there isn't anything scheduled for October, maybe we should plan the second Thursday in October. Okay. 
And what, do you want to do it in the evening or the day or the morning? Or how do you... I think, I mean, you've been going to the Shade Tree Commission meetings for a number of years. I have too. I, I missed a bunch of them because eight o'clock. Right, and eight o'clock's not, I'm just checking with, the only yeah. reason I think they did eight in the morning was the one member, Bill, I mean, this was established before I was even at a meeting. Right. Bill Denny, that was a good time for him because uh, he had to go to, but he doesn't off, he's okay, but he does need, so it was done for him. And then sometimes he wouldn't come to meetings anyway, but I think evening's better. Like it's seven o'clock tends to be a better time for people that are working because they can mm -hmm. get home and uh, they have a little time to do some stuff. And, and before, I mean, I wouldn't mind meeting earlier than seven, but if public meetings, I should think should, should at least be at seven. No, that sounds right. Okay, so we'll say the second Thursday in October at seven for our next meeting. And I, I don't know if that's, yeah, that could, if, do you wanna make that a public meeting or it's just, well, actually we have to. Let, let's, let's, wait let me that. find out first what has right. already been published. What's established. Because I actually would like to have a meeting, um, even just sitting in the park, somewhere where we could talk easier than on zoom mm -hmm. uh, but we have to be careful of being socially distanced and all that i did suggest this to bill grant because uh, it's be good to have him at the meetings he may also have um spots where he needs wants to put some trees for the township sometimes he has them um but he liked the idea of meeting in Naylor's run park that would be but if we did that that would be uh have to be a daytime so um, yeah, I think you have a lot of flexibility. Um, if you if you meet in subgroups or smaller groups, yeah. um, you're not voting on anything. No. Right? So these like these committee these commission meetings are sort of voting meetings where you okay the minutes, um, <coughs> and vote maybe to make changes to the you know the ordinance or create a new ordinance about mm -hmm. moving stumps in front yards or some, stuff like that. So. But if we have a monthly meeting that's any, I don't know if we want to make them all public, that, that anyone, everyone knows it's the second Thursday of the month, then mm -hmm. people could join because uh, as they have time, because not everybody, I mean, if there's only four meetings that are public, it's possible some people that want to come wouldn't be able to make too many of, you know, they'd have other conflicts. And so... I, I like the idea of just having an established monthly meeting and having subgroup meetings as we find necessary. Oh, well, I may have located it. Historic Commission. Here we go. No, this is the last meeting. Okay. Published meeting of the right because I think there was one in January, and there were a couple in the spring. February, March, May, September. Right. Yeah. So, and actually, we should have another meeting before that we pick up trees. So, so we want to go for. Well, let's have a meeting. Um, the sec. What is this? In October at seven o'clock. And we maybe can get some of this. Uh, let me see. Look at the calendar. We, we don't have to decide right now. And Dolores, right. I'm going to have to get going because I have right. a meeting at nine. Okay, that's um, good. So a lot's up in the air, but it, right. we're, we're going to get it together. Well, um, so I'll work on my stuff. You work on your stuff. And, and you can call me when you figure out the, the best time for a meeting. All right? Bye. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.